what's up everyone and welcome to my channel or back to my channel yeah so everyone is up in my house right now except for Atticus which is my son if you do not know he is my one month old and yeah it's a little bit of chaos right now so but I got this bandana off of well at Hobby Lobby. I love how it looks. It's like distressed. And then I seen these on Pinterest. I don't know if it's going to actually should probably sit, shut off my sewing light. Is it going to take? Uh, maybe. I don't know if you can see them. They have rhinestones. They're bandanas, but they have rhinestones. There we go. Rhinestones around them. And I just love how that looks. But the thing is, most of these are looking like they're silk, so they're thinner. So I'm going to cut this bandana in half to make it thinner. And then I got this off of Amazon. So we're going to see how this looks. So the goal is, if I can get this laid out. Oh, and then this package too. This one with the rhinestones, it actually came with two tubes of glue. But I'm not going to use this big. So, I'm going to get this cut in half. And then I don't know. I'll have to get you guys turned around here. I'm at least point it down. And hopefully my camera doesn't fall over. All right, so you get this cut in half. Ow. Because if I keep it and even if I sew this together, it's going to be too bulky. So I want it thinner. And then I'm going to put this around it. I think I'm going to start with right. I think that would be good because it's not going to be too, too long. And I'll have to snip it right here. Okay. So right now I'm going to get this cut in half. I put it on and actually like tied it around my neck to see where I wanted the fringe to hit so it'll hit actually it'll start like here and then it'll come down so that's about it's gonna be about 10 inches on each side from the point yeah this one can actually go down just a little bit. I'm thinking about making these and selling them, but I wanted to do a mock-up for me first and see how it went. So, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and get the hot glue gun. There is a fuzzy stuck to the end of my hot glue gun. I'll come off. I'm going to tack the rhinestone chain down first with the glue gun and then I'm going to go back through and I'm going to just hand stitch and secure some pieces on there. Mm -hmm. 
actually, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna press this real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna go iron this real quick. All right, guys, so if you notice an outfit change, um, I was trying to put the rhinestones on earlier. My daughter kept attacking them. So, needless to say, I did not get that done and I just... All right, so let's do this. So what I'm gonna do is I ironed this one again. And the only thing I will say, I tacked it down with glue, but I didn't like how that worked. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna take that sharp part off from, I'm going to lay a line of glue down. And then I'm gonna go back through. I'm gonna actually do some hand stitching just to make sure the stuff stays on. I'm not just gonna use glue, so. You're snoring, it's my dog. She came in this morning, flopped down and was like, I'm not leaving and I'm not moving her, so. All right, so I got that side done. So I did find out you can cut this with scissors. Probably end up ruining your scissors, so use crappy scissors. actually works out better because you can get closer. I forgot to put the paper down underneath. I'm just a mess this morning. Nothing has gone right. So. Again, I will have this trim linked below if anyone is interested in it. I think I paid like $12.99 for two yards of it, which is actually pretty nice. It's not, better quality than what I thought. Kind of figured I was gonna actually have to ship it back. So, which I just realized I'm missing a rhinestone in there. So what I'll do is I'll take one out of the end and I'll put it in there. And then that would be Squeaks. He, um, He has been like flopping around. He got up at two, but come on. All right. So there's that. And I'm gonna get tweezers. Open up the prongs. Try not to break them off.
each end I have a dangle, so I'll just use this one. And that's fixed. And that's it. Just a nice, easy bandana. Super cute. Like I said, I'm going to go back through. I'm going to do a couple little hand stitches here and there just to make sure this stays on. So I'm going to do that now because I do plan on selling these. when I don't think I like either of those might just use white
maybe it's just me, but I just think these are like super cute for a concert or just something fun to add to your outfit. I had to make one, so I made one for myself. Maybe I'll give this one, I don't know, maybe I'll give it to either my friend or maybe my sister and then make a couple other ones. See, like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Cute? Good idea? Me. Let me know. But yeah. And that's it. Something super simple and easy and I don't know. Alright guys. Well, let me know what you guys think of this. And I guess I will see you guys in the next one.